So here he is, the tournament number one seed. His opponent is from Georgia. Georgi Kushitashvili from the 2022 edition in Yerevan, Armenia. World Championships back in 2019, he lost at the quarter-final Ooh. stage to the eventual champion to Julio Lacruz, the five-time world champion. He was eliminated at the quarter-final stage here at the So we're underway then, the semi-final stage of the 86 kilogram cruiserweight division between boxers from Azerbaijan and Georgia. A taller figure, slightly taller figure I think, trusting the, my eyes rather than the tail of the tape, is the man wearing red is Loren Berto Alfonso Rodriguez, the reigning world championship gold medalist, the tournament number one seed, and the man wearing blue coming forward behind a trip hammer of a left hand. Is Georgi Kushitashvili. It's a contest between boxers who have switched allegiance from the lands of their birth. Lorenberto Alfer Alfonso Rodriguez switched from Cuba to Azerbaijan in 2018. As for Kushitashvili, well, he returned from Russia to Georgia in the last month of 2019. There he lands an educated left hand to the body. Beautiful reverse one-two landed by Alfonso Dominguez. And Alfonso just spoken to about his responsibility to, to keep his head up. Beautifully picked single while skipping away to his right from Alfonso. Two experienced operators. Alfonso, of course, enjoyed podium success at the highest stage in addition to that world championship win in Serbia two years ago. He came away with Olympic bronze in the Tokyo edition. Beautiful check right hand landed by Alfonso once again. And again, just spinning out of the corner, moving with such efficiency before attempting a one-two. Kushitashvili bustling away to the body while Alfonso Dominguez tries to tie him up on the inside. Bustling forwards only to be picked off by another Czech right hand is Kushitashvili. Well, exchange there saw Kushitashvili end the exchange with a nudging one two, but then look at that trip hammer of a straight left from Alfonso. Closing seconds of the opening round. Inaccurate with the right hand as Alfonso digging away to the body while Alfonso was disorganized is Kushitashvili. Nice move out of the corner from the man in red. But spoken to about his responsibility to keep his, well not turn his back on his opponent. Some of the action from that first round quality check right hands it was an actual exchange of right hands but for my money the man in red with the more eye-catching work and his check right hand was effective indeed many several occasions was able to spin off the line and land with that backhand Kushitashvili competitive throughout the first three minutes but I think it's the man in red who did enough to take the round and there's confirmation 10-9 across the board in favor Loren 
Roberto Alfonso Dominguez Rodriguez. It's interesting when you do these tournaments, as I had the privilege of doing for a number of years, you see the same names come out, but sometimes in a different order. And I think that's what's transpired here at this World Championship. But Alfonso, the man in red, coming out with a stiff left jab to begin the second round, having taken the opening round across the board. Now he's up on his toes, looking to quicken the tempo, having conceded the opening round unanimously. Is Georgi Kushitashvili made to miss once again by the fleet-footed movement of the reigning world champion. And mention the fact that if you are a reigning global champion, you have the privilege of beautiful left jab landed once more by the reigning champ. But having, if you have that lofty status, as Alfonso does, and you have the privilege of putting the name on your jersey in gold to stand out from the crowd as a man who stands alone on top spot of the podium. But maybe Alfonso and the Azerbaijan contingent didn't get that memo because it's in plain old white, prosaic white, like the rest of his competitors. But make no mistake, he proved to be head and shoulders above everybody during that magnificent run to gold in Serbia two years ago. Winning five contests out of five, including against Henrik Cruz of Cuba in the semi-final and then Kino Machado of Brazil in the gold medal bout. It was a magnificent run. Stern tests all the way through. And here he is looking to return to the gold medal bout against a determined man, Georgi Kushitashvili, who's continuing to press and again, that's testament to his experience, the reigning European champion. Having conceded the first round across the board, he has come out in altogether more aggressive fashion. But there is a stiff deterrent in the form of a 1-2, but Kushitashvili demonstrating that he won't be deterred as he steps right back into the breach and continues to let his hands go. And this is the style that Alfonso likes to box in content to retreat to the corner and play counter puncher and didn't he pick that right cross beautifully followed by a left uppercut Kushitashvili continuing to let his hands go despite having his chin checked by a solid backhand Kushitashvili continuing to press less than 30 seconds to go in this second round spirited response from the tournament number five seed Kushitashvili Again, looking to pin Alfonso to the ropes and let his fists fly. But it's difficult to ruffle is Alfonso. Keeps his calm, punches exchange just after the bell. But another very good round of boxing. Credit to Georgi Kushitashvili who really did try to turn up the heat. But I'm not sure it's going to be enough to turn the tide in his favor because he was met by cracking counters such as that combination there. Backhand, left uppercut. He's back near the corner from the reigning world champion. So two rounds completed, both of them taken unanimously by Alfonso. But make no mistake, it has been a fantastic response from Kushitashvili. He's going to need an enormous third and final round just to get back to parity. Of course, in this beautiful sport, there's always the option of taking your man out inside the distance. Ladies and gentlemen, this so is your no third doubt whatsoever. and final round. So into the third and final round we go. Georgi Kushitashvili competing on the global stage for Georgia rather than Russia in 2019 edition. He was down at 81 kilograms. Here he is. Having returned to Georgia in December 2019. 
digging away to the body, trying to find breaches in that defense. Terrific left hook to the body, landed once again by Kushitashvili. Same shot once more beneath the right elbow of the reigning world champion. And Alfonso will be aware that he's winning 2018 for all five of the scoring judges. After two completed rounds, there's a good right hand reciprocated by Alfonso. He really did get some leverage on it and slam it into the solar play of his opponent but it's been a good start to the third round by Kushitashvili his left hook to the body has been eye-catching indeed so made to miss by Alfonso but not made to pay Both men inaccurate during that attempted trade-off. Big intake of breath from Alfonso. Just beyond the midpoint of the third and final round. I wonder whether Kushitashvili has clocked that and will look to apply even more pressure to an opponent who could well be feeling the pace and that will really test the man's conditioning. Two left hooks to the body in quick succession. Again, just beneath the short ribs behind the right elbow of Alfonso. Wonderful intelligence and ring craft being shown by Kushitashvili because in the face of a fading opponent, he's continuing to dig away downstairs. He too feeling the pace, but he knows that he's facing a 2018 deficit. And how about that for a left hook fired in by Alfonso. Remember the gold medalist has got to go again. Mouthpiece has been spat out. Now that can be a tactic employed by veteran boxers to buy some time. Of course, their opponents buying time as well. And that is why in IBA boxing, if the mouthpiece comes out three times, you see the referee saying that that's once. If it comes out a further two times, that is a point deduction. Remember in the pro ranks, in that battle between Diego Corrales and Castillo, how the mouthpiece was dislodged repeatedly during that incredible back and forth affair between those two, those two iconic warriors. So check hook as the legs tangles causes a trip to the canvas for Kushitashvili and that will conclude the action. Well, you have to credit and admire the competitive spirit of Georgi Kushitashvili because, ha because having conceded the first two rounds unanimously, he turned up the tempo and kept on coming, taking it to the world champion. For my money, he may well have done enough to take that third round, but it's not going to be enough because it won't be by a 10-8 margin. And it won't be enough to overturn the 20 points to 18 deficit that he faced for all five scoring judges. He gave it absolutely everything. And he did test the conditioning of the champion who appeared to be feeling the pace in the third and final round, and that would have been exacerbated by the body shots he absorbed from Kushitashvili. But for my money, it's Alfonso who should be returning to contest goal. in your semifinals comes to a close after completing the scheduled three three-minute rounds in elite men's cruiserweight division. All your judges see it the same way, ruling in favor of your winner by points, declared by unanimous decision to the red corner from Azerbaijan, it's Loren Alfonso Domenigue. There is confirmation of a unanimous points decision victory for Loren Berto Alfonso Dominguez Rodriguez. A terrific performance. Sees him prevail and to his credit,